that we're here together to celebrate Nick and Rachel. And thank you, Michael and Dave and Rachel and Nick for making this so wonderful. And um, these, these views, it's like we're in heaven, so it's perfect. Um, I'm thrilled, you know, to have a few moments to share some thoughts about Nick and Rachel. Um, Nick was born in Norman, Oklahoma, and as a baby, he was very cute and sweet and loving. But one thing you probably don't know about Nick is that he was commissioned to model at a very young age. <laughs> <laughs> so I took him to the local <clears throat> portrait studio, Norman Photography, to get those standard baby photos. And back then you had to return and look at the previews, right? So I came back to look at the previews and they commented that he was so photogenic and they wanted to know if um, it was okay with us that they had one picture on display of him at the studio to show, you know, other customers. Uh, and outside, then they, from outside, from outside. Yeah, well, well, you know, you had to go into the studio to see it, but um, in exchange, they would give me some free photos. So I was like, sure. But um, unfortunately, <laughs> um, it was a little picture of Nick, you know, all smiles, buck naked, up. <laughs> but his little bottom was up. He was on a baby scale, and it was so cute. But um, a few years later, we went back to the studio, and they still had it up. So, uh, Rachel, be advised. There's a nudie pic out there. And, um, <laughs> might be still there today. So um, if you're ever in Northern Oklahoma, we'll have to go check it out. Look for check next month. Yeah. Check a nudie out. So it's a <laughs> so I mentioned that Nick was very loving as a baby and a child and he still is today um, when he was four we moved to Bedford Texas and um, when I put him to bed at night I would say I love you big and he would say he would stretch his arms out and say mommy I love you bigger than the big tall buildings in Dallas <laughs> and it just always melted my heart fast forward to today and Nick, I'm so proud of the man that you've become. You're loving and intelligent and hardworking and devoted and someone that everyone can count on. I couldn't ask for a better son. When Nick first told me about Rachel, he said that she was sweet and fun and very cute. And I could tell she was special. He mentioned that she lived in Portland and that he wasn't sure how the long distance was going to work out. And I was like, oh, son, you can definitely date a girl, you know, uh, long distance, no problem. And he talked about how to video date and fly there on the weekend. Of course, it wasn't long before Rachel moved back home, and uh, thank you, COVID, and they've been inseparable ever since. And when I met Rachel, I instantly fell in love with her, too. Rachel... You're truly beautiful inside and out. I love how you carry yourself and put everyone around you at ease and fit in everywhere. But most of all, I love that you're a true cheerleader for Nick. Whenever I see you, you always go out of your way to tell me how great he is, how he supports you, and makes you dinner every night, and the little things like the time he sewed your dress when it ripped at that wedding. I didn't even know he could sew. You sewed um, yeah. Since Nick was a little boy, I've been praying for someone to adore him and love him big. And it's clear that someone is you, Rachel. Nick and Rachel, as you start the next chapter of your life, keep three things in mind. Be each other's best friend, keep the positive feedback coming, Give and receive lots of physical love. Hug and kiss daily. And put God at the center of your marriage. And now I want to make a toast. Here, here. Here's to a life together filled with happiness, health, and lots of love. Cheers. Here, here. Cheers.